Launch Day. I'm your host, Stinkpot. It's here. Welcome to our PSVR 2 unboxing session here today. I'm Stink Pot and this is your Shack Show. We're getting in here today to finally unbox that PSVR 2. But before we go there, we're going to talk about anybody that had the PSVR or PSVR 1. Uh, this is where we came from and today we're going to show you where we're going. So. If anybody that owned the PSVR, one of the problems they had with it was just how clunky it was and how much uh, college courses you actually had to take to hook this sucker up. So it came with a uh, two cabled uh, tether and then it had its own processing unit. You plug in these cords in there and then you need more HDMIs to go to your uh, PlayStation 4. But that's only the beginning of your headaches. If you were a streamer and you wanted this to go to OBS, you needed additional cords upon additional cords to go to your game capture card to OBS, and it was just a nightmare. Uh, not only that, PSVR1 had trouble uh, staying in focus for different people that wore it, um, and it was just an atrocity. Um, Myself as a um, motion sickness kind of guy, one thing I uh, did not like was how quickly it made me motion sick. Now, keep in mind this was the very first VR headset I've had, and I've never used anything but Sony uh, VR headsets. So, um, probably had a little bit of body conditioning to go into it before we got used to it, because I remember when I first used this one, um, Within 10, 15 minutes, I was, my body was sweating, I was hot, and I was just felt nauseous. It was just not a good time until my body got conditioned to it. And then I could do, you know, an hour or two session just fine. But that was only uh, if I didn't do anything that wasn't too crazy. But uh, tomorrow you're going to see there's going to be uh, different games, different styles of games. They're going to bring into a fold. It's really going to test the motion sickness limits, but we're going to get into that in tomorrow's stream, guys. So if uh, just keep in mind for today's video, what we're doing is we're do unboxing the PSVR 2. This is the launch day for PSVR 2, February 22nd, 2023. We've got it, uh, and we're going to show it off to you in just a few minutes. So sit tight, guys. It's gonna be a real good ride. And I mainly brought this here because I wanna do a comparison between the one and the two when we get done. And then once we get through that, we've unboxed it. We're gonna hook it up to the PS5 and just go through my first hand experience uh, with the PSVR 2. If you wanna see gameplay, make sure you come back tomorrow uh, on twitch.tv slash stinkpotstudios. That's where we will be live streaming some games. If you want to help decide which game we're going to play, though, head on over to Twitter at Stink Shack Show, and you'll find a poll. It's either going to be Gran Turismo 7, Resident Evil Village, or Demio. So get your votes in, and you decide what we play tomorrow on twitch.tv slash stinkpotstudios. Now, it is time for the unboxing. We're going to put the PSVR away. We're going to put the processing brain away and let's bring on the PSVR 2. I got it earlier today, still in the box, haven't opened it. I want to go through that experience with you right now. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is the PSVR 2. Wait, wait, no, this isn't. This is right here. But first, what is this? box what could it possibly be is it another processing unit i don't know stink pot has got you covered let's go ahead and open this sucker up now i did a look based upon my experiences with the psvr i did uh go through some forethought on what i wanted when it came to the psvr 2 so what i've taken the liberty of doing 
is I bought something because if you guys played the PSVR and you had any kind of friends over, you had to use those wand and move controllers, right? And they didn't last the charge very well. So what I ended up doing is I had two sets of move controllers. One set was always on charge, one set was always in use. So when you wanted to do Dance Dance Revolution, that didn't work, of course, but it did work because you always had a set on, uh, on charge, so that was good. So guys, I welcome you. This is the PlayStation uh, VR Sense controlling, I'm uh, sorry, the controller charging station. This is the puppy I wanted. It, uh, because if you know, I think we're gonna get into it in just a moment. I'll show you another reason why we did this. But I uh, just want to keep in mind here that uh, there's a specific reason why I wanted this charging station right here. And let's get into it. I'm not going to get crazy with the box. Ugh. I keep these boxes so tight and use. I try not to rip the box, so I'm just going to try to dump it. And there it is. Box tore up a little bit, but it's okay. So, all right, so this is the main box that comes in. This is, again guys, this is not the PSVR 2 if you just joined us. This is the controller charging station. And by controller, I mean what you see on the screen right there. Those uh, dual sense controllers. All right, so this is the base. Um, I'll bring you a closer look to it. This is the charger charging station base. Um, it's a lot heavier than I expected. It's Probably between one and two pounds, I would say. It's got two little lips on the side. I don't know. Kind of looks like a, a pelvic bone, right? That's what kind of reminds me of a pelvic bone. Anybody had broke your hip out there? I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Uh, looks like there's a uh, port here for the plug-in power. And there's two little things right here. Uh, here and here. We're going to get into what those are. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Let's put down that for now and let's see what else we got. Oh, yes, we have the manual. Who, who cares about the manual, right? Get straight to the power cords. That's really the only thing in there. It's going to be the charging station, the manual, and then the power cord, and that is it. So that's pretty much it. We'll set this box to the side with the manual. It can go with the original box. And here we go. Ah, yeah. So... What the heck are these? They remind me of like uh, if you're a dude and you wear cufflinks. That's what these are. Some kind of attachment. Uh, let's bring it into view here. Uh, what I think. So one end is USB-C. Don't know if you can see that. The other end is those three dots that we saw on the uh, charging station. So probably goes along with this. Let's get in closer here and, and see if we can figure this out. Oh, let's just turn it this way for you guys. Uh, oh, it's it's like a magnet there. It's magnetized. Uh, so we'll just put the other one here just to show that it's magnetized. Ooh, it'll just suck it in. Boom. There it is. So I guess. Hmm. That's an interesting design there. We'll get into that in a minute, but for now, I'm gonna take these suckers back off because I do not want to lose them. Uh, and we'll put the charging station there. You will need those later. And back to the power cord we go. Undo the twisties. This is your power cord. Boom, boom, boom. Standard PlayStation power cord, right? I think ever since the PlayStation 1, they've used this type of uh, power cord. Um, and this is the power pack for it. So obviously the other end goes into the, uh, the unit. So let's go ahead and put the sucker together and let's plug it in. Let's see what we get. Okay, plug it in, plug it in. All right, so take the charging base again, plug it in. Uh, it on? Maybe, 
I would expect to be like some kind of light on it to indicate that it had power. It, I don't know if you can see here, but there is a PlayStation logo right there. Can I get in where? Kind of difficult with the lighting, but there is a PlayStation logo. They're very faint. But again, and then there's uh, rubber feet on the bottom, so it's going to set like that. So we'll just set that aside now. Now, and once we get, bring these little cufflinks over here, and once we get to the actual PSVR 2 unboxing, which is coming up next, we'll figure out that charging station. So, all right, guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Comes in a box like this, at least it did from UPS. Let's open this sucker up. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. There it is in all its beauty. The magnificent blue box. The blue and white box that you're normally used to seeing with the PlayStation 5 color scheme. There it is. Ah, oh, look at that ladies and gentlemen. PlayStation VR 2. That is it right there. Boom, boom. We got it, we got it unlocked. We're here to enjoy the next generation of uh, virtual reality. Now, uh, I don't wanna just pry it out like the other box because this is the unit. So let's go ahead and carefully uh, get it out of the box this way. And throw that box over there. Don't need that for now. And it does have the serial, like the, the bottom of the box is cut out so the serial number can be easily read. That's a nice little touch. Sony Interactive Entertainment. There's the bottom. You guys can't see that well. There's the side. There's the side. And the side. You guys get the idea. All right, so let's open the main unit. You can see, uh, may not be able to see. So there's one seal here, and it looks like some type of security seal right there as well. So that's nice knowing it's still perfectly sealed. I'm gonna I'm gonna be crazy and try to take it off without busting uh, the the the. You know, I'm just gonna try to take off these uh, seals cleanly. Now I've heard rumors that this box here is just the outer shell. It's not the real box. I've also read that you need to take this interior box out cleanly because otherwise it'll all just fall out. So keep that in mind. On the inside we have the main box and it's a white box that goes in line with the look of the PS5 and this inner box is from all the articles I've read, they said you can use it as a storage unit for the, the PSVR 2 itself. So when you're not using it, throwing it right back in this box. And uh, because of that, I'm going to try to take this out as clean as possible. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If I just dump it, it's just like a lid. It just wants to all fall out. See like that? Basically a lid on top. So make sure you're taking this stuff out carefully. This is one of the DualSense uh, controllers. Let's get the foam off of this sucker. And we can see it in all its glory, ladies and gentlemen. This is your DualSense uh, controller. I am left-handed, so this must be, yeah, this, must, this is it right here. Right hand right here. And it does have a uh, safety strap so you don't go throwing it through the wall and whatnot but man that feels very light it's like it's definitely it's definitely lighter than the uh, the controller it's definitely lighter than that oh man that is that is so comfortable so comfortable um, it has on it here let me bring it closer to you guys has on it uh, the standard buttons you'd expect uh, circle X and then a little uh, control joystick there 
Uh, it looks like R1 is right there. That's R1. Um, where's the square button in the triangle? That's a little odd to me. I get why there's no directional D-pad. And looks like this is the same button as this one here, right there. But why? Am I just dumb? We're missing a triangle and a square button. We have on if I this with my right hand, so on my thumb is where R1 would be, and my index finger is where R2 would be. So do you just not need the other two buttons? Obviously, you don't have the the mouse touchpad in the middle of the controller. Uh, so very interesting, very interesting design. Kind of looks like a from this angle, it looks like a a jock strap, right? <laughs> or I don't know. I'm getting too crazy now. So all right. So really, only one, two, five buttons, and then a joystick on the DualSense uh, controller. Interesting, interesting there. So let's put that one aside and see what's next in the box. Oh, oh I, that's the unit itself almost ripped it out and here's the other uh, dual sense controller so we're gonna uh, open this sucker and this I'm guessing I'm hoping it's for the left hand if if they gave me two right-handed ones I am boxing this all up and selling it because it's probably gonna be a rare so oh, darn it's left-handed so let me get both of these suckers back out not using the safety strap, but this is how it looks. Keep your thumb on the joystick, and then uh, index finger on the R2. It's like those buttons were positioned precisely before, to indicate, oh, I need to use this finger. Oh, I need to use this finger. So it's very, like I said, guys, very light, very nice. Like Once I get this security strap on, Let's see, I, I can probably just even let go of it. I got fat, fat hands, so how do you adjust this? There we go. Get that in there. Put my uh, hand around it in there. <laughs> Tighten it up. There, and I can just let that dangle. Do the other one. Tighten it up. It's very easy. I like how they designed this because you can, Used to, you know, I'm not a very technical person, so I used to have back in the move controller days, the the Wii remote days. I used to have someone else put on straps for me, but the design of this is very uh, very easy to do for one person. So I like that feature as well. And like I said, they're in my hands now. Very light. They almost are an extension of my hands, like. Think of a, a glove you put on, how it rests right there between your index finger and your thumb. That's a nice little feature. You can hold it like that. You can let it dangle, however you want. Uh, yeah, it's almost like mittens. They are a little, you know, wobbly and loose when you're not holding on to them, you know. But they're not gonna fly out of your hands. They're not gonna fly out of your hands this way. But. Even if I go like this, they're not gonna fall off. But, but maybe it's because my hands are huge. I have above size hands, not trying to flex or anything, but I'm just saying if if a child or tried to do this, I think when they did this, if they didn't have the strap on, it would probably fall straight to the ground. That's just my guess. But hey, if you're not 12 years old, you probably shouldn't be playing anyway, because that's the safety warning that Sony puts out because you're still developing blah 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 so it could mess up your eyes. I don't know the science behind it, but that's all they say is not recommended VR, any VR uh, under the age of 12. Parents, they probably let the kids do it anyway because guess what? I got to play uh, games that weren't rated for me when, because I was a gamer, so yeah. All right, so these are the DualSense controllers and now let's take these suckers off and put them in this charging station and see how they work there because I'm not confident that these suckers are fully charged. So we're gonna go ahead and charge them up anyway and, and see. So now we're gonna come back 
to this cradle, the charging station that's licensed by the PlayStation folks. Let's put these uh, DualSense controllers in this charging station and see how that works. Where's my cufflinks at? My cufflinks are over here. I, I, I'm not a fan of these cufflinks because I have a feeling if you're a child or if you're just reckless, you're going to lose these suckers. And these are so small, they could get eaten by a cat, a dog, could get eaten by a small child. So if you have a small children out there, make sure you know where these things are at all times. Because they're just magnetized to the, the, the uh, charging station. Could get lost very easily. I don't like, that's probably my biggest pet peeve so far of this unboxing is these are big, tiny devices. Um, so yeah. Uh, use that with caution now. Okay, so it looks like on the Sense controllers themselves, right here is where you plug in these cufflinks. So I'm going to do that now. And it snaps right in. You heard that little snap. Maybe you just keep these in all, all the time and they never are removed. And maybe we w won't have to worry about losing them. That's probably what I'm going to try to do is just leave these suckers snapped in all the time because you did hear it snap. So hopefully that means it doesn't come out easily. Let's do that snap again. There it is. And yeah, they don't come out easily. So maybe that's going to be okay. Maybe that's going to be okay. And then we just magnetize it, I'm guessing, to uh, this part here. Just match that up to that. And that should be how it charges. Let me set it back down and see if there's any indication now that these suckers are getting charged. Here we go. I'm gonna inch different. Am I just stupid or what? Am I, does it matter which one goes on what side? I think that's it. They just sit in like that. Okay. This is. How they go in, take them out, they just sit right there. I don't know guys, to be continued on that one. No indication anywhere that these suckers are being charged, so. Got me guys, got me. I'm gonna set this right back there and just leave it there just in case they are charging. And now the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the headset itself oh here it is the headset itself looks like there's oh, oh there's another little box here what's in this box let's look in this box first what is in here all right so here we go with your playstation uh vr2 you do have your own set of stereo headphones that come with your unit i plan on using uh where is it at Oh, it's right in front of me. I plan on using my Pulse uh, PS5 headset with my VR, but if you don't have one of those, they do have these stereo headsets. Um, and we'll get to, they actually plug into the VR unit. So we'll get to that in a minute. And then this is another charging cord. So this is the reason why I went ahead and bought that charging station because with the PSVR 2, it only comes with one charger cord. You probably already have another charging cord for your controllers, so you probably will have two. But like I said, guys, you really, like what I want is to have another set of these uh, DualSense controllers so one can stay on charge and one I can play with in my hands and then constantly swap. That way, if I want to do a 10 hour game VR session, I have that ability. So, probably get some more move controllers going forward. But this is the only charger charging cord that comes with the PSVR 2, so keep that in mind. All right, so we take that out, sit it there, and then the headphones, and then of course, for all you readers out there, there is a manual for the PS uh, VR 2, PlayStation VR 2. Right there in its white theme. I'm gonna put that back in the box. Oh, dang it! I just ripped the box. Alright, guys, learning lesson. 
If the box is on the side, do not pick it up by this flimsy lid because I just tore my box. After all that meticulousness, I tore it right there. Right there. Just flapping, so. Oh, I'm pissed, but it'll be okay. I'll survive somehow. And then inside the rest of the box, it's just a uh, another uh, cardboard shell uh, of where everything went, so. Damn, I almost got through that, guys, with a flawless unboxing. But hey, dim the price. That's what you pay, right? Dim, dim there. I, I don't know. I'm not going to mess this up further. I'm just going to set this over here and uh, figure it out later. All right, so let's bring back our PSVR 1, and we're about to compare it to the PSVR 2 headset. Here we go. I don't want to let that dangle. Let's unbox this. The last thing to reveal right here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button on YouTube. And tomorrow we will be gaming with this. So make sure you are... Man. Yes. So make sure you are here tomorrow. Well, not here, but on twitch.tv slash stinkpotstudios tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. And we're going to play some games with this. Tonight we're just going to get comfortable with it. This is just our... Unboxing reveal on launch day and later tonight. I'm gonna play some games get comfortable with it So I'm not playing cold turkey with you guys tomorrow. So man look at this So let's bring in the PSVR 1 and the PSVR 2 and right away you can see a color scheme difference There's more white to go with the PlayStation 5 theme than black uh, more black and that makes sense because the PS4 was more of a black theme PS5 more of a white theme so that makes sense if we look at the visors itself you can see the PS VR visors a little more rectangly a little more boxy but this is a little more futuristic a little more uh, has a lot more curves to it uh, weight wise though I feel like the PS VR 2 is heavier it definitely feels heavier uh, compared to the PS VR 1 uh, let's undo the cord now. I have to say the price point was probably the number one reason why I was on the fence for a really long time. The number two reason was probably the game library. The game library was originally 30 and now they're saying it's 40 as of today with a hundred more games in development. So before I even knew that though, I as a streamer I'm like no, I want to be Streaming this as early as possible seeing if it's out there because you also might know if you do not have a PC set up like I do with OBS and You just stream through the PS5 You can use the PS5 camera and it'll do this green screen effect for you uh, When you're using the VR so no more uh, Pretty much plug-and-play so yeah All right, so that this is the cord I do want to say, yes, this cord that comes with the VR2, if I can get it correct, it is probably about as long as the big honking cord for the VR1 was, and you do need a long cord if you want to move around because there's three different modes. There's a sitting mode, uh, a standing mode. So I think three different modes on how you can set up your VR gameplay. So yeah, interesting. And of course, I already have the cord in a knot. So let me uh, untangle this real quick. What the heck happened? Oh, it just, it just wrapped itself around like a vine on a house around the uh, charger cord. So I don't like the fact that it has a cord, but hey, if the reason that it has a cord is because we because we get better quality then I'm all for that 4k resolution and man look at this cord it is insanely long so I can't even show you oh wait that's the PSVR one I'm like oh my god it unplugged how does that happen so yeah very long cord here um, so it should be plenty of space for you and uh, we're gonna get to this real short guys real shortly but first, I want to go over some more comparisons on the inside of the PSVR 1. Basically, just have this nose flaps that covered your nose back then. 
and then you have this little rubber piece that goes on the side. Um, this rubber piece here, it went on the side, and that's pretty much it. But here on the PSVR 2, it's more, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's more like a, uh, a cupped like visor that goes around the eyepieces themselves. So it's more compact, more like an accordion style. So when you put your uh, head into it, it's really gonna wrap around your eyes a whole lot better than the PSVR one. That's my gut feeling on it. Um, and then on the back, you have your adjustable. On the back of the PSVR one, didn't it? It, it, it kind of had both. They were just two separate. Like you had this button that would take the headset in and out, right? And then this button would cinch it tighter. Uh, but on the PSVR 2, they just put it all in one, one uh, button. So you tighten it with that dial, and then there's a push button to, and that slides way easier than the PSVR 1 did. For all you big heads out there, very nice to pull that out. And then, uh, of course, the main difference between the PSVR 2 is you have your four tracking cameras here where you had, I don't think any tracking cameras here because you had these sensors, but they just talk to the move controllers. So, and then you have a dial here, which is, pro is different than the PSVR 1. There is no dial on the PSVR 1, but on the PSVR 2, you do have this dial. And what this dial does is it allows the focus. Once you're looking through the lens pieces, you can use this to focus. So that'll be a nice feature as well. So that's your headset, ladies and gentlemen. And just like the PSVR 1, it still has these nose flaps right there as well. Man alive. Oh, and I forgot this one. This, I believe, is the button for the pass through. Once we get the sucker turned on, we'll be able to show that. But we're going to set this sucker down. And we're going to take a few minutes to get set up and we'll be right back with you guys. We're going to turn, hook this up to the PS5, we're going to fire this baby up and we're going to get a first hand look on what this looks like and our first impressions on mapping out the room and everything else guys. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. We are situated here with the PS5. We've got our PSVR2 headset right here. And we're ready to throw this sucker on and find out what it's all about. So far, the only thing I've done is I've taken the uh, the, the USB-C cord and plugged it into the PS5. When you do that, you have this nice little red light that pops on right there uh, to let you know it has power. Still not sure about the charging station, though, but we'll get into that in a minute. And I did forget to go over a couple things on the bottom. There's a uh, microphone or speaker, I can't tell which one this is, at the bottom here. And then this is the power button to power the unit on. And maybe this is the pass-through? If, if that's not the pass-through, this is the pass-through. We'll get into all that in a minute. Alright guys, we are back here in uh, our VR headset, PlayStation VR 2. I was a little confused because in the PSVR 1, you have multiple HDMI's uh, cables to worry about. And I know there I had to uh, figure out how to hook all that into my Elgato capture card. But with the PS5, all you really have to do to get VR to work on stream is uh, plug this headset, which has the USB-C cable, directly into the uh, port on your PS5. And, th and that is literally it. As long as you have your HDMI in the back of the PlayStation 5 going into your Elgato, you are good to go. And another thing is, that's just going to take care of the video. In order to get the audio working, you can see here, let me do the pass through. All right, yeah. In order to get the audio working, I had to use my Elgato chat link, which this end goes straight into the capture card. And then the other end is a split end one uh, goes from my headset to the splitter and then the other end goes into the headset itself 
uh, right in the back here is where you plug in the head the uh, the chat link cord so I say chat link but really if you just have any splitter cord that's going to work for you so just put the the splitter in here and then it goes off into a Y and then one end of that Y uh, you plug in your headset and the other end of that Y goes to your Elgato capture card so that's how that works every time you see it going just to a black screen and you see me that means I am looking through the pass through so I can literally see my surroundings with the headset on it is black and white and I do have a depth, depth perception issue uh, because when I reach for something like the mouse right in front of me it, it seems really tiny and so it's a, it takes a little to get used to but like I said everything else is black and white and then I press this button here to go back to the PlayStation now wherever you're looking that's where it's gonna put the screen so because I was looking up when I pressed the button I, the PlayStation screen is right up here now so then I press the pass through and then I look straight and now the PlayStation screen is right in front of me another thing we didn't talk about was uh, we well we did talk about it but here let me I got my straps on so I can do stuff uh, let me get this so the charging station I finally got that figured out as well um, so when you use the charging station guys um, what will happen, uh, this, can I do this with the VR headset on, let me see if I can't, you gotta find, uh, you gotta find where it connects, and then you put it in, and when you do that, it probably won't show now, but this, there's a white light, very small white light that's on these sense controllers, and as soon as you get them in the right spot, they'll start to, like a very slow pulsating white light to let you know it's charging and then that light will go off when uh, charging is complete so that's why we weren't seeing any lights because my controllers were a hundred percent charged straight out of the box it's what I was not surprised or that's what I was surprised to see there so let's get back into uh, PlayStation mode so again let's set the play area and when you do that it puts you in this big cage oh yeah you, I think you can see it on the screen and so as long as you stay inside this cage when you play, you'll be good to go. If you move your controller out, you're going to see it show a red circle to indicate, oh, I'm out of the play area. So if it ever seems blurry to you guys, you come to this screen. And look, if I close my eye, it actually closes the eye. Again, I don't know if this is something you can see. But uh, when you close your eye, if you can't see what I'm seeing now, trust me, it'll show you. Uh, so, and then I'll help the focus a lot better. So if I come all the way out, it gets really blurry for me because the eyes aren't centered where they need to be. So we'll move them in and then we'll get the, uh, the blue. And I can close my eyes and they close. And there we have it. All right. So, oh yeah this is right every wherever I look on the screen it is tracking my eye I don't know if you can see this but it is so freaky how if I just look somewhere else and again I can blink blink my eyes and it actually blinks my eyes on the screen but even when you don't mean to look somewhere it knows where you're looking and it lights up a little noise and a ball to let you know hey I know you're looking here so that is so freaky uh, and now it's gonna do a, an eye adjustment oh and this is really weird you just gotta follow the ball that's all you gotta do I don't know if, again it may look weird when I'm doing this I uh, can't detect my eyes try again all right let's try it again Try to follow the ball this time. Following the ball. And now it turns to like a bright white. It's like blinding. Oh my gosh. But you gotta follow the red ball this time. 
and we're complete. That is so so blinding when it does the white. And we're complete and we're done. This has been a great journey so far, guys. Unboxing the PSVR2. Uh, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button on this YouTube video. And tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central, we're going to be on twitch.tv slash Studios, where I'm going to be playing VR for you guys. I still don't know how I'm going to read chat. Because I can press the pass-through button, but it I, there's no way I can look like I still... Even though I can see, I can't. You cannot read anything in this mode except what's on the PlayStation. So I'm looking at my computer screen and I'm like zooming in and I'm like, there is no way I'm gonna be able to read the chat. So maybe I can pop out the chat and blow it up and maybe then I'll be able to read it. But I, I don't know. I might just have to take off the headset. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a learning progress, a work in progress. So we're going to get to that all as the coming days come up around. So let me take these controllers out. Crazy journey here so far. And I don't, I don't know. I just want to get more in touch with this and find out, do you guys actually enjoy this kind of content? That's what we're looking to see here. Um, is it something that you want to do? I'm going to have to remember to wear my hat backwards so you don't see my bald head anymore. And uh, it's been a great, great uh, first launch day for PSVR 2. A lot of learning curves. And if you guys have any questions about what we discussed today, drop a comment below. And I'll be happy to help you. Because I know, especially if you want to be a PSVR 2 streamer, I had to sit here for an hour or two just to figure out, okay, how am I going to do it? But what I didn't realize, it was way simpler than I thought I was going to. I was overthinking it, and I should have just like, no dummy. All you got to do is plug in the USB-C cord that powers the headset, and as long as everything else is good to go, so the HDMI goes to my monitor, and then I got another monitor or cable going from my monitor to my Elgato card, and that's how I'm able to show it on my personal monitor that you can't see and show it to you guys out there on the stream at the same time. Um, so one thing that is misleading about the PSVR2 system is it says, hey, if you want to enable streamer mode, you get to get the PS5 camera. No, you don't. The PS5 camera is only for people who do not stream through the PC, and you have to use Twitch app within the PlayStation and enable the broadcast mode directly through the PlayStation. So that means you're not going to get overlays, you're not going to get any alerts or anything like that because it's just very basic streaming on the PS5. So you only need the PS5 camera for the PSVR 2 if you do not have a PC set up for streaming. So just wanted to clarify that as well guys. And if there's anything else I can think of, I will uh, explain it as we go on tomorrow on Twitch dot tv slash stinkpot studio 7 p.m central tomorrow guys be there we'll see you next time this has been your stinkpot shack show have a good night everybody